Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. It is Potter Review Tuesday and we are going to be looking at the new Harry Potter blender bottles. There are six different Harry Potter blender bottle variations you can purchase. I have four of them, all for the Hogwarts houses. Here we have the Gryffindor blender bottle. It is red, has a red top, as well as a yellow lid. The Gryffindor crest, which has the lion, as well as Gryffindor underneath it. The blender bottle logo at the bottom. Next up is Hufflepuff, which is black and yellow. We see a badger and Hufflepuff underneath that. Here we have Ravenclaw in silver and blue. Unfortunately, we see a raven instead of an eagle, which for a lot of Harry Potter fans, especially Ravenclaws, is quite unfortunate. And last but not least is Slytherin. We see green and silver, the serpent in the middle, Slytherin underneath. What I like about these is because Blender Bottle is sports related, it has a Quidditch theme. So there's a golden snitch at the top, as well as Quidditch goalposts on either end of the crest. These bottles have a 28 ounce capacity. Even though the measurement on the side only goes up to 22, you can fill this up with 28 ounces. The other available bottle here is a Deathly Hallows themed bottle. And over here is Harry with his glasses. I'd like to do a little experiment. I'm not sure if water will taste different from one or the other bottles from one of the other houses. I'm assuming Slytherin is gonna taste the best, but we'll just have to see. Aguamenti. 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 All right, Ravenclaw. Tastes kind of like, like bird seed or something. Oh, uh, it's because there's a raven on here and not an eagle. Otherwise I'd be tasting mouse. All right, to be serious. I'm tasting like, um, like an English tea, like an Earl Grey tea. Something that you would drink when you are studying or reading. Hmm. Slytherin. Hmm. Tastes delicious. It tastes like cotton candy and chocolate cake. Perfect. It's Slytherin. <laughs> no, but to be serious, what do I really taste? Like a like a mint. Like a menthol mint almost. Maybe because of the, the green coloring or something, but kind of a menthol mint flavor. Gryffindor! All right. Gazelle. No, is that zebra? No, I think it's gazelle. It's gazelle. <laughs> no, but Gryffindor, like, um, like cinnamon, kind of a, a comforting flavor because because of the Gryffindor common room and the fireplace and the color red, like um, cinnamon. Cinnamon for Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Stupid honeybee. <laughs> Get it? A honey badger, a honeybee. No, actually I taste honey. Honey for the honey badger. Hmm. I love honey. I love honey and peanut butter sandwiches. Well, that's what I taste when I drink out of these blender bottles. When you think about the four Hogwarts houses, what flavors do you associate with each one? Leave a comment down below. I'm curious what everyone thinks. 
Well, those are the Harry Potter blender bottles. Whether you are active or not active, if you're a Harry Potter fan, these are fantastic bottles to have to carry water around. And if you are drinking protein shakes, they are fantastic for blending up the protein powder. I purchased my blender bottles from Amazon, so I left a direct link down below to all six of the different Harry Potter blender bottle options that you can purchase. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, anything you saw today, please feel free to leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you. Or you can send me an email, thepottercollector at gmail.com, or find me on Instagram, at thepottercollector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?